What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Viosa and in today's look, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this look right here. I'm absolutely obsessed because I used a few of the Dose of Colors new eyeshadows and I actually did all the swatches to all the colors so that if you were interested in buying some of these colors, at least you get to see live swatches on how they look on the skin. They're super intense, super pretty, and the reflect glitter on these shadows is beyond perfection and it gets more intense as the longer you wear them. So if you guys wanna see how I created this makeup look, please keep on watching. So let's start with this color right here. I mean, this color is to die for. First, I was gonna do a makeup look using this color, but then I saw that everyone on Instagram has been using this color to create a look. So I figured I'd create a look with these colors here instead, but I do wanna swatch these for you. So I just, I wanna show you how intense they are look at that do you guys see how intense that is it's just so pretty look at that like look at how it shines it is just perfection this color is called teal me more the next color is called jackpot and when you guys get these be careful when you do this because they are so soft that they can kind of you can create like a dip so let's do this one Look how pretty that is. Oh, I just love it. And the next one is Night Sky. I love this color. Mm, it is just so, so pretty. It's like a deep, deep green. Let's do I Need Space. This one is like a gray black pretty much but the, the intensity of these eyeshadows is just freaking amazing. The next one is Wild and Free. I love how they're so multi-dimensional too. This one is like a brown, but it also has some purple undertones, so it's not just one color. The next one that I'm gonna swatch is called X-Ray. I know I picked all the dark colors, I feel like. This one and this one here look similar, but they're not when you actually see them in person. Uh, look at them, like one swipe and look how pigmented they are. All right, now I feel like I need to swatch some actual like other colors besides these dark colors. So I'm actually gonna swatch some more. All right, next I'm gonna swatch Heart of Gold. Let's do um, my hand here. Heart of Gold. Uh, it is just so beautiful. We're gonna do reflection next. This is also another green. But this is more of like an army green, not like not like the green down here. This is more of like a golden army green. These two together would actually pair up really well. Right, let's see next. Ooh, another brown one. This is called Encore. This is like a burnt brown. All right, this next one is like a deep plummy purple. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. This one was called My Jam. All right, this one is Caffeine Queen. Uh, that would be me. And this is also another brown color, but a different kind of tone brown. See, like this one before was more of like an orangey brown. And this one here, they're not really showing, I feel like, as true on camera as I see them in person. But this one here is more like a muted brown. All right, next is Lock and Key. Lock and Key, I'm doing right here. You see that? Another brown really pretty i mean just look at how beautiful they swatch this one is actually really fun it's called slinky this one is like a true silver so so pretty 
I got three more, you guys, and then I'm almost done. And I'm not gonna swatch the ones that are on my eyes because you guys will see how they go on. All right, this one's called Sky's the Limit, and it is another gray, like a silvery gray. So this one was more of like a light silver, and this one's more like a gray silver. Next, I have a double take. This one's more like a gray brown. Let's do that one right here. Actually, it's not really like a gray brown. Well, yeah, it's a brown and it has like the gray reflex on it. All right, and last but not least is the color called Hot Mesh. And this one is beautiful too. All right, we're gonna do this one right here. Look at that. Yes. All these colors are just so pretty. I shall start now so that I can show you guys how amazing these eyeshadows are. And I just wanted to make this one be all about the new Dose of Colors shadows. And pretty much these are the two shadows that I used on this look. And for my base today, I'm actually going to be using Lay in Low, um, which is kind of like painterly, but this one is a little bit... Um, more tan I should say painterly is more like a pinky white and to apply lay and low I'm gonna use the concealer brush by dose of colors as you guys can see this base is more like skin color so it's nice if you have a tan I feel like when you're tan painterly can be a little bit too white I feel like this dose of colors uh, concealer brush is perfect to apply bases like this and I'm applying it all the way up to the brow bone. Wherever you're gonna apply your shadow, you wanna make sure that you have a primer on first because that means your eyeshadow is gonna last all day. It's not gonna crease. It's not gonna fade throughout the day. All right, so right away, I'm gonna go in with the color Sizzle. This reddish brick kind of color. You see that reflex glitter on it? So I'm just gonna pretty much use my ring finger press this onto the lid this is the best way to apply these eyeshadows i feel like i did use a brush also but initially i used my finger to do the first layer so at first it doesn't have to be perfect it could be messy like that because you are going to use a brush to kind of blend it all out All right, before I do anything else, I know that looks messy, but I want to add this color right here. See that light right on the inner corner? This color is called Shall We Dance, and it's going to go right on the inner corner. And for that, I'm just gonna use a Dose of Color br uh, brush that comes with their palettes. I'm actually gonna use this palette as well. So I'm just gonna use both sides actually to start applying the color Shall We Dance. I'm also going to add it to the bottom inner corner. Now I'm going to use the Baked Browns palette for the transition color and I'm going to use this color right here. And for the brush, I'm going to use number 6 by BH Cosmetics. This is from their Rose Gold collection. So, you know, as usual, just going in windshield wiper motion and then kind of elongating the eye by creating like a v-shape and now i'm gonna take a clean brush well it's got shadow from the previous eye but it doesn't have any product in it so this is a smith 232 brush and this is just to blend out this crease color so that there's no harsh lines When I first looked at these eyeshadows, Dose of Colors sent me all the shadows, and when I first looked at them, this color that I'm wearing on the lid was the first color that popped. I was like, I need to create a makeup look for YouTube using this shadow because I just fell in love. You guys wanna hear the crazy thing? The longer you wear these shadows, right, the natural oils of your skin that kind of seep through, 
the shimmer and the shadow gets brighter and more bold so see how on this eye you don't really see the shimmer as much but on this eye you do even in person like looking at this eyeshadow it's not even the same eyeshadow as this because the longer you wear it the more intense the shimmer gets so we're going to continue blending this eye a really exaggerated kind of look and now I'm going to take a Dose of Colors blending brush and I'm actually going to dip it in the color sizzle, what's on my lid. And then I'm going to go over on the crease because I want the crease to have that color as well. I pretty much want the entire eye look to be focused on this reddish color. The reason why I applied the matte shadow on uh, the crease as like a transition color is just so that it's all nicely blended. Dose of Colors never disappoints. Honestly, everything that I have from Dose of Colors, I love. They um, they send me everything, but yesterday I actually placed an order because there's a couple of products from them that I was running low on, like um, my favorite liquid lipstick from them, the Bear With Me that I'm going to wear for this look, I believe. I'm going to see how it looks once I put it on. Um, I had to order that because I was running low and I also wanted to have one for my makeup kit for work because it's such a pretty color for brides. So I want you guys to know that just because the company sends me products, I also do buy their products because I really do genuinely love their products. I'm going to use this lighter color right here for the brow bone. And I'm going to use a small shadow brush by Stalazi and the number L221. Lately, I've really been loving the Stalazi brushes and they're really, really, really affordable. So if you guys haven't heard of Stalazi and need some new, affordable, good quality brushes, check them out. And I'm also taking that light color and kind of just applying it right on this inner corner here so it's not too, too dark. Now, again, using that 232 brush from uh, Smith Cosmetics just to kind of blend everything out. I don't want my highlight to be bright at all, really. The brow highlight, I want it to be pretty soft. Now I'm taking a black pencil by Zoeva called Black Box, and I'm going to line the waterline. And when I'm lining the bottom waterline, I'm also smudging it on the roots of the lashes. And I'm also gonna do the top of the waterline, so I'm gonna tight line. And same thing, even when I'm tight lining the top, I'm also really getting into that root of those lashes. Because this look doesn't really have eyeliner on the top, it just has like very lightly smudged liner on the top. So it's important that you get the liner in the roots of the lashes. So that when you do mascara, you don't see like a gap between the eyeshadow and the lashes. And then I'm also going to apply some more of this liner right on the lash line. Make it a little thicker. And then I'm gonna use a Dose of Colors pencil brush to smudge that out. Once it's nicely smudged, then I'm gonna use again the same brush to dip into this sizzle eyeshadow and really smoke out the bottom lash line with the shadow. All right, and now with the same pencil, I'm going to get really close to the lash line on the top and just kind of, doesn't have to be a clean liner because it's going to be blended, but just getting really close to the lash line. Doing like a little baby wing. If that, because that's also going to be blended out, so you're not really going to see it. And then taking the same uh, pencil brush, not really putting any product on it, but just uh, feathering that liner and blending it out. I want to have like that smoky effect without it being too dramatic on the lash line. I definitely didn't picture like a wing liner with this look. I pictured more of like just smoke around the eye. Right, and now I'm gonna curl my lashes since we're not really doing a full strip of fake lashes. I'm gonna curl these and I only did I only did end lashes like corner lashes I'm 
And for my lips, I'm going to use the color Stripped Down Lip Pencil by MAC. And for lipstick, I'm going to do Bear With Me by Dose of Colors. It's one of my all-time go-to favorite nudes. I'm obsessed with this color. And to set my makeup, I'm going to use the Smashbox um, in collaboration with Nicole Concilio. The scent that I'm going to use is Centering Citrus, and this is what it looks like. So Nicole Concilio collaborated with Smashbox and came out with three scents, but this out of the three was my favorite because it's citrusy and I love anything citrusy pretty much. And I actually love the way the bottle sprays. For example, this setting spray right here by Ciate, the Dewy Spreads, I don't know if it's my bottle or if all the bottles are like this, but it's when it sprays, it spits at you, so your entire makeup gets ruined. So this one I use whenever I want to like um, wet my sponge or wet my brushes. I don't use it for my face, but this one, it sprays so evenly and so perfectly. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed filming with these colors. I hope you guys enjoyed the swatches as well. I wanted to swatch these shadows for you because I feel like sometimes pictures alone don't do it justice. You have to like see it in action when you like swipe the product on your hand. They're so pigmented, so rich, so creamy. It is definitely a collection that I highly recommend. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, like and comment, let me know what you thought of this look, and if you have any special requests for my next video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notified whenever I post a new video, and I'll see you guys next time.